This video is sponsored by OneFootball. OneFootball's app makes it easy to keep up to date with transfer news, scores and stats all in the one place. To download the OneFootball app, click the link in the description. The app is free. To watch more of this video, get over and join us on Patreon. Thanks, Pete. I'm, we found this in our DMs on Twitter, but luckily enough, it wasn't time sensitive as such, so we can use it. And I know your son's been looking forward to seeing it, so there you go. It's used. We're using. We're going to score. Hello, Peter's son, by the way. Yeah. Um, do Everton need Europe? I think we've met, we've discussed this at length on various shows, but. We're gonna, we're gonna do we need it? Do we need it? I don't think I don't think we need it. I do. I, I, I'm, I'm just gonna totally contradict myself because we do need it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to I'm trying to cover myself so that we don't get. A, I can still put a positive spin on it. No, now, I just. I, well, but do we need it as a club? Yeah, I do. I I honestly do think we need it for the simple reason. And the manager actually said this the other yeah. day. Um, is that when you're a club like Everton? Mm. Um, Forget what Michael Vaughan says. I've seen him having another pop at Everton on Twitter before. The weirdo. Um, when you're a club like not Everton, even a real sport. He's a it's dick. just not a real sport. He's, he's not, not even a real man. He's a dick. Um, when you're a club like Everton and aspiring mm. to try and challenge at the top end, well, that's what we're told. We're aspiring. We are as fans, and you need to be in as many competitions as you can, and you need to be in competitions that put your name into. Other yeah. other places other than England, mm. so therefore we have to be in it because then we get drawn away in Germany or drawn away in Romania yeah. or whatever you know anywhere, and you, Everton's name is then bounced around yeah. and then sponsorships and play. Listen, players, let's break down when players say things like "I want to play in the Champions League." They probably do a bit, but what they really mean is "I want the big fat pay." Like extra bonus that I get, yeah. sponsorship wise and everything for playing in those competitions. So if Everton finished seventh, yeah, and Man City win the FA Cup, and Everton are in the Europa League, then Everton's target who they're talking to. You know, it's just something a little bit extra to say. Yeah. Oh, and we're in the Europa League as well, rather than we're aiming to try and get into Europe. We've got, we've got we're playing European football next season as well. So again, you're you're gonna be showcased around yeah. Europe as well. And, so. and when you look at the Europa League and you look at the final four, and it's Chelsea, Arsenal beating both of them, mm -hmm. and you look and Frankfurt, Frankfurt, and Valencia. and Valencia, and they're they're probably two teams that are similar to Everton. They're not absolute world beaters in no. their leagues. No. They're, just, they're two decent sides. The way I look at it, like you, is that for Everton, if we could be in Europe every single season. Look at look at look at Arsenal, right? Arsenal built the 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 platform for their for their fan base off the back of being in the Champions League every year for like nineteen seasons or twenty three or whatever, whatever it was. Yeah, um, they built that. They become a you become a recognised face. Yeah, you become part of the elite. You become you become part of whether you like it or not. Um, Things like FIFA and what you know. Get, the thing about it is, right? You become relevant. People have different gateways into into football. One of the and it'll always be from it'll always be from the top down. It won't be from the bottom up. Mm -hmm. So you're gonna have you're gonna have kids getting into through FIFA and things like that. They'll normally play the teams who have the best players, yeah. and that all and that all helps build a brand. We do when we play. Games you want to play those clubs, don't you? Yeah. You want you play recognisable. Well, clubs. even if you play just because, like, say you're slightly off time, but if you're playing online and you want to beat someone, you don't necessarily go like Everton. I mean, I do because I'm, you know, it gives me extra power knowing I'm going to beat someone. Being I'm not saying I win, but it, it's it, it's like well, you've got to be the best to beat the best. Mm. If that makes sense, so you you're always going to go. Well, they've got that player, and it all helps each it, it helps each other. And you're right, brands, not Marcel, actual mm. sponsorship brands and. They'll always be attracted to that bigger market, of course they will. But fans as well. We're talking about, mm. we've said this a few times, and, and particularly with reference to Bramley Moore. Yeah. It's that there's, there's Evertonians out there at the moment that don't know they're Evertonians. Yeah. And so the only way you attract those people, we've said that about the markets in America and things like that. Well, I'm talking about European markets as well. If you're, We know clubs because they've played in European competitions. Now, they mightn't be the Bayern Munichs of this world, but... You know, teams like Wolfsburg, 
and people like that who've been in yeah. Europe, you know, people will talk about Hertha Berlin and people talk about Saint Etienne. Well, Saint, yeah, Saint yeah. Etienne haven't done anything in Europe for years, but you still know yeah, them yeah. as a European club, you know, and things like that. Whereas, whereas for Everton, and Everton, Everton have never. We don't have a proud tradition in Europe. We no. just don't. We don't. It's just something apart from winning the European Cup in this cup. We don't have every time. Every time we seem to have had a good team, something has happened to to stop us from from you know whether it be in like this you know the nineteen sixty nine seventy team you know you know dodgy referees and having to go to the San Siro and all these things. There's always been we just don't have it and a history. And you have those elite teams that have. They have a, you know, there's clubs out there that are a lot smaller than Everton, but are mm. probably more well known because they have a, a pedigree in in the Champions League. The teams out there have won the Champions League that really are probably smaller than Everton, but because they've been in it more and and that it's that snowball effect. Look they've, how look at um, Seville, they built a team based on the Europa League, mm. and he built a team to win it, and he, they were building teams even before they won it. Remember and. Um, th- when they had like Freddie Canute and people yeah, like yeah. that it was years ago but we, they they built their success off the back of that 